it's very frustrating to hear everything that's being said from Christine and Michael. And because I already don't know who I am and I want to know who I am, what happened to me. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany, I hope everyone is having a great day. And I wasn't going to speak on this story initially because I know it would be a topic that might be too sensitive to some or triggering. However, I found the story of Natalia Grace very fascinating and I wanted to share what has come from the story brought to light. For those of you who may not be aware of what or who this is about, Natalia Barnett is a young woman originally from Ukraine who made headlines from a very controversial adoption that took place back in 2010. What's unique about this story is Natalia has a rare type of dwarfism called SED and it really was difficult to distinguish her real age. Why though? Her adoptive parents, Michael and Christine Barnett, adopted her under a closed adoption and had absolutely no access to any type of record of her. The couple was told by the agency that she was only six years old. However, after many details on Natalia's body development, it sparked more confusion. Also, the way she talked, acted, and her alleged threats against the family made the Barnetts look further into just how they can find out what her real age was. The Barnetts eventually had her age legally changed to 22 years old, just a couple of years after the adoption. Here is what the uproar is all about. After the Barnetts found out by medical exams that Natalia was much older than they were told, they found an apartment in Lafayette, Indiana to live on her own while they were living in Canada. According to the story on Investigation Discovery, they found her an apartment in the worst part, witnesses say, and they actually said they feared for her. After neighbors said that she was being abandoned, it started an investigation. One of the other apartments that she eventually moved to the neighbors there were telling their experience with Natalia and none of them were good. One neighbor says that they found Natalia playing inappropriately with a 10 year old boy, while another neighbor said that Natalia would just walk into their home uninvited and start eating food out of their pantry in their fridge and sometimes try to go to their son's bedroom. But there is obviously real issues going on with Natalia at the time because she was left on her own by her adopted parents to basically tend to herself as a person with a disability. Can you imagine? In 2019, she was found living with another couple in Indiana who had taken her in after the Barnetts left. The new couple, Antoine and Cynthia Mand, have claimed that Natalia is only a teenager and have provided evidence to prove that. They did find Natalia's birth mom who confirmed Natalia's birth was in 2003, which would make her only 13 years old when the Barnetts left her alone. But Natalia's claims didn't just stop at abandonment. She also says that her adoptive mother, Christine, was abusive physically, mentally, and verbally. The Barnett's very own son admitted to some of those claims as he explained to producers he was told to urinate on Natalia's bed as a punishment for Natalia for urinating on herself. Wow, that's just insane. But today, Natalia is living with the Mann family and looks happier. Natalia's story touched many people, including Matt Roloff, who stars on Little People Big World, who shared her GoFundMe page on his post asking his followers to help donate to Natalia's family. Many were not moved by Matt's post saying that Natalia is a scammer and even comparing her to the story The Orphan where a young lady pretended to be an eight-year-old to be adopted only to take advantage of the parents. But that's the misconception about Natalia's story that the media led on. This story is actually way different in my opinion. Matt Roloff and Natalia share the same type of dwarfism and I'm sure that's why he wants to help, but 
He does encourage his followers, which he does have over 700,000 of them, to not assume things and just watch the documentary. So far, Natalia's new family has raised almost $10,000 of their $10,000 goal, and I'm sure it could exceed that. Before Matt made his post, she was only at about $3,000. So tell me what you all think of this story in the comments below. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it as on Investigation Discovery. I found it very fascinating and intriguing and it looks like she's doing pretty well now, but I hate that she went through the trauma that she did. Will she ever get justice of her being abandoned at only 13 years old? Who knows? Leave your comment below. Please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more. I appreciate you listening and watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.